The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. We're going to dive deep into the ocean of shit today. I think it's more than the pool today. We're going to go snorkeling. Get your snorkel, snorkel gear on. Snorkel gear. Say that sexy. I dare you. Snorkel. <laughs> snorkel. Well, you probably could. I, I apparently cannot. <laughs> You're a man starting to rise in the world. Piotrowski came in. Shane's here. I love that you guys keep your camera on. Phenomenal. Sometimes shit just hits the fan, and that's called being normal. That's called being human. That's called being a man in relationship. And we've got some deep stuff to get into today. I'd love for you guys to, to chime in when you uh, when you want, when you want to unmute yourself or come in. Ian unmuted himself. I don't know if he wanted to come in. Was that your house, Ian? Did we just see your house? <laughs> He's like, sorry, sorry. What's that? Oh, sorry. I muted you accidentally. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, I put an offer in that house yesterday. I got, uh, got snapped up before me, though. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you got a good deal on it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This guy named Roger put a bid on it. He wants the house with lots of cracks. <laughs> Roger likes cracks. <laughs> no, I want a house in Spain so I can have Selma Hayek. Like, we can initiate every room. Yeah, exactly. You know, all the stains, you don't need to worry about that. Just like... <laughs> Well, you got the arsenal behind you. Dave Martin's here. Good to see you. Billy is here. Zach came on in. Mr. Malloy is here. Chris is here. You guys are awesome. All right, let's go ahead and jump into some questions from the forum. Cynthia's got a sexcapade spot today, uh, lap dance. And we're going to show what Bradbury told us last night was his favorite bit from John Wineland, his favorite video from John Wineland about connection and breath and grounding. So I'm going to go, let's go ahead and share this screen here. Yeah, we've got six, Cynthia's sexcapade spot today. And these pictures, I don't know where she finds these pictures. Is this a selfie? <laughs> There's a I piano in the background. I just noticed. I, I saw this picture four show. times. I didn't notice the piano. What's that, Billy? I said, I hope that's a selfie, Jeff, <laughs> for you. Yeah, don't yeah, look, don't pay attention to, don't pay attention to yeah. the man that's not me sitting there. <laughs> we'll we'll see, stop that right there, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he's getting ready to play Rocket Man on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking love it. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. So cool. Yeah, I mean, this dude's going to play Rocket Man too. We're going to share that today. Roger's a close second with what, Rocket Man? Oh, best hair on the planet. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's get into some tough questions, but first we've got the staircase of courage question. So when do you feel most grounded and badass as a man? Are you doing a certain activity? So when you're, uh, I had a man this morning that's contemplating divorcing his wife basically today. We've had some news over that the past couple of weeks. I had a man last night uh, asking himself if he wants to continue with his relationship. There's you know, a lot going on in the world right now. I don't know if it's because it's mid January and this kind of the after the holiday tremors, but that's our theme of this week is shock waves of earthquakes. And I want to know where you are the Buffalo, where you cause tremors and earthquakes in your own life as a man, not necessarily even with her. So the staircase of staircase of courage question is about you. When do you feel most grounded and badass as a man? Are you doing a certain activity? Are you playing the xylophone that's behind you? You know, what What do you do that makes you feel like a badass man? I think that's a xylophone behind Bradbury. Is that a xylophone? Oh, darn, no, okay. That'd be Heber Dulcimer. If you have one of those, that's badass. You're, <laughs> your nuts are bigger when you have a hammer, dammer, dulcimer. I only feel masculine when I'm playing the flute. Sorry, guys. If you, I think flute means something different than Roger. <laughs> Like, like a band camp? Like a yeah, band camp? exactly. I mean, that's when she plays the flute. I don't know where this is going. But you change that for a hammer dammer bossomer because that's way a bit more badass. <laughs> slammer dammer fossomer. Slammer dammer. That sounds fun. It's slammer and dammer. So punch in the chat. When do you feel most badass and grounded as a man? I know Tim was talking about driving your, like, fucking tractor loader dealer, right, Tim? I think Tim was, is Tim still on here? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. 
Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me feel like a man. To have five tons of steel going crazy and kind of controlling it. It's good stuff. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. So punch that into the chat, gentlemen. All right. So let's go ahead and get into some shit. If you want to bring a question in today or a scenario that you have, totally we'll give you priority. Love giving you guys priority for being here, especially those who have a camera on. No, it's, it's, my, it's my little prodding. It's fun to see your faces and inter interact with each other. All right, let's go ahead and get into some questions. Here's, let's do, let's do this one first. I actually have it listed as number three, but I want to do this one first because it did get a couple of reactions responses in the forum and this is a good warm-up okay i don't know why i'm upset i maybe i just need to vent okay after our last child my wife got an iud put in and it it has fucked her up she's not supposed to have periods and she's having periods she's supposed to get it pulled out and get a blood panel ran for her home hormones due to the pandemic she's not been able to do so and I say all that because she believes that her hormones is the cause of her lethargic behavior and irregular periods. Now, I don't want to bullshit you guys. I take full responsibility for where my relationship is at right now. Let's say she gets a blood panel done and there's no issues. This means she's not feeling and enjoying the adventure energy that I'm radiating. So I don't want to hinge my relationship on a single blood test. Okay, to the meat. The other night we were cuddling, laughing, and enjoying the evening. She had tried to stick some dirty panties of her to my chest earlier after she took them off. All right, that's a good start. When she crawled in to cuddle me, I said, come here and smell my chest covered in pussy. She laughed and said, we can't, then said, can't we just find you someone to bang and cuddle as a joke? I assume she's gaslighting, if that's the right term. No, it's not the right term, but that's okay. I said, I can't juggle two, I like this. I said, I can't juggle two different pussies and left it at that. I assume she made the joke because she believes her hormones are out of whack and she's struggling to enjoy those things, question mark. Uh, I'm not okay with that joke. I want those things in a monogamous, healthy relationship. And with the woman I have chosen to be in a healthy monogamous relationship. Am I pouting because our relationship is not there? If I'm not just pouting, do or should I tell her I'm not okay with that joke? And how much should be said? Something about it has me rattled. I just can't put my finger on it. What do you guys see? So I want to start this one by jumping over to Cynthia. So what do you see right away? And by the way, if you haven't met Cynthia, Cynthia Cruz, the only woman allowed in the show for her professional feminine perspective. Love her being here. Roger loves you being here. And the guy in that picture loves you being here as well for your <laughs> selfie picture. And the piano is whatever. And the hammer jammer. All, all of Cynthia's uh, orbiters love her being here. Yeah, well, those two, you know, those two. So what are your thoughts in this situation where the woman's, you know, IUD is not doing what it should be doing. She wants to get a blood panel. And then she makes this joke. But also she put stuck the panties to his chest too. So what do you feel in this whole situation with her joke? And how, I mean, a man's wondering, how serious is the joke? And should I say something about it? What are your initial impress impressions from that post? Yes, so, it, I mean, like for a man, when, when a woman's body is not working on her behalf, it's a, it's a crunch to the ego. And it's a feeling of not having control. And it can bring up a lot of feelings of anxiety uh, and and being hard on herself because I mean no woman wants to be um, unattractive no woman wants to be um, feeling like her body isn't flow and beauty and sexy and and eliciting desire so when it's when it doesn't feel like it's working for her um, that struck me as a woman who is not feeling confident in herself because of that. And so her way of kind of joking with the, I know I'm not giving what my husband's wanting. I don't know how to make it better. Um, I'm not feeling great about myself. And there might even be a tinge of fear in there somewhere that he might go somewhere else and you know find this sexy, juicy, alluring energy somewhere else that's her way of dealing with it, maybe in a way where she feels like she has a little bit of control over the situation and um, 
you know, even like the panties to his chest. I, I... To watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. GreatMenMoveMountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show.